Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating an eye look using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. So this is what the palette looks like. A bunch of really warm colors in here, so really great for summer. And I've actually never tried out any of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes before, so... And I just really love the shades in this one, so I'm very excited to see how... So I'm very excited to see what eye look we can create today, so let's get right into today's video. So again, here is a close-up of the palette. Super neutral colors, very wearable. love that there are so many matte shades in here because I just feel like it'll really allow us to blend out the look very well. There are four more shimmery shades. I really love the shade Lolly and let's see, on camera, boom. So those are the colors and based on the swatch, those look super pigmented, so I really love those. Using a Morphe M441 brush, I am going into the shade Rush because that's the lightest neutral color that we have in here. And I'm just going to buff that out on the outer corner of the eye and blend it into the crease. And I did prime my lids with some concealer before I started the video. So now I'm going to just use the same eyeshadow brush and I'm going into the shade Mugshot, which is another brown shade. Popping that off and just blending that right over top. So now I'm going to add a little bit of the shade Framed, which has a little bit more of a burgundy undertone to it. I'm just going to place this right along the crease really help to smoke out the eye look. Also add like a subtle pop of color. Now I want to use a little bit more of a dense blending brush. So I'm going in with this one that's not as fluffy as the last one. And I'm just reapplying that shade just so that we can get a more deeper and pigmented application. And now using another Morphe M441 brush, I'm going into the shade Secret, which is a deep brown color. And I'm just going to place that on the outer corner and really smoke out this look. And I'm going to try not to cover up too much of that shade framed that we have in the crease here. And I am just bringing a little bit of that shade with whatever's left on my brush onto my lid. So now that we have this kind of like brown smoky eye look, gold would actually look really good with this look. So I'm just going to use my ring finger and apply the shade on camera. Look at how pretty that color is. And I'm just going to tap that on the inner corner of my lid. I'm just lightly tapping that out so that it looks super blended. And look at how pigmented this, this color is. It's super, super pretty. It goes perfectly with the colors that we have on the eyes. Using a smaller eyeshadow brush, I'm going back into the shade Framed so that we can really bring out that color in the eye. And I'm going to drag that right along my lower lash line. But now that that is applied, I'm going to go in with some black pencil liner and I'm just going to line my waterline. I don't think I'm going to do a wing today. I'm just going to keep it super like a more of like a smoky eye look rather than adding a harsh line. For lashes today, I'm going to use some Kiss Flirty Lashes and pop these on using my Duo Eyelash Glue. Now that my lashes are applied, I am going to add some mascara to finish off the eyes. So now moving on to the face makeup, but I am going to go back in with highlighter on the eyes to add my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. 
first I am going to use some Benefit Cosmetics Hoola bronzer and just bronze up my face. I'm going to apply this as contour and I'm also adding it to my forehead and jawline. I'm then going in with some translucent powder. I'm just going to clean up my contour. While that sets, I am just going in with a fluffy blush brush. I'm going to go into my Kylie Cosmetics Batty on the Block blush and just place this on the apples of my cheeks and the tip of my nose. I'm just going in and dusting all this powder off. For my highlighter today, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Ice Me Out Highlighter. But before I apply highlighter to my face, I'm going to use the same highlighter and use a pencil brush. This is the Morphe M431 brush. And I'm just dipping that into my highlighter and placing this on my inner corners and brow bone. So you can just automatically see the difference and I'm just going to slightly tap that up onto the lid a little bit. I'm just going to apply the highlighter to my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and to my cupid's bow. Just going in with my beauty blender, just tapping everything out. So for lips today, I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Lavender and Lace Lip Pencil and I'm just lining my lips with this. And then I'm just topping that off with my Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Lip Mousse and this is in the shade Cloud Chaser and I'm just placing that. So this is the finished look. So I really love the way that this look turned out. I think it's this really pretty, warm, smoky eye look. And every shade in this palette blended so beautifully. So I really liked it. So if you guys liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.